Today we're going to walk through creating itemized invoices by client or project for Amazon Web Services using cost allocation reports, custom tags, and pivot tables in Excel. Cost allocation reports should be enabled in your Amazon Web Services console and you should have already set up some tags. Uh, for the purposes of this demonstration I'm going to use a project tag that I created. So let's start by importing the CSV that you downloaded from your uh, Amazon S3 bucket. We want delimited and tab and comma delimited is fine. It should be selected by default. We can see looking at our data real quickly, everything looks good. So let's go ahead and import it. And I'm going to rename this sheet so that I can easily tell the difference between my data sheet and my pivot table sheet. So now we need to create a new sheet and add a pivot table. You go up to your data toolbar, you go to your pivot table icon, and select create manual pivot table. Next we need to actually add data to the pivot table. So we're going to go back to our original data sheet that we just imported, and we're going to select all of the data. So start up at the top left, click and drag all the way down to the bottom right, so that all of the rows that we just imported are selected. And now we add that data to the pivot table. From here, we can pick out which columns and uh, values we want to include in the pivot table. So I'm going to select the user project, uh, which is the tag that I created specifically for this. Put that on the left, and then total cost on the right. So I've got a very basic pivot table that shows me how much each project cost. But I want to break it down a little bit more. So I'm going to go ahead and add uh, product name, which is the Amazon Web Services product name, and the item description in that left column. So now I've got a much more robust uh, itemized pivot table that shows me exactly how much everything costs per project. And now we're going to select that right-hand column and just make sure that it's formatted as currency. So go to your Home tab, click on the Currency button, and boom, dollar signs. And I like to sanity check and make sure that the pivot table total and the total from my CSV are the same, and it looks like they are 2781. So you can see how easy it is. You can create pivot tables from any key value tag in Amazon Web Services, uh, although a few Amazon Web Services cannot be tagged. And if you have any questions, hit me up on the Twitters. I am at Snipeyhead.